Today in Halo, June 19th, 2513. Dr. Catherine Halsey decides to rename the Orion Project Generation 2 Spartan after the ancient warriors of Greece. In honor of the original Orion candidates, she renames her program Spartan 2. Though a seemingly trivial day in the grand scheme of things, the renaming of the Orion Gen 2 project would have strong and lasting repercussions. Along with distinguishing the new program, Catherine Halsey would free it of any prejudice due to the shortcomings of the original Orion program. The Spartan 2 project would, despite heavy casualties during its early stages, go on to act as a beacon of hope for the human race during the Human Covenant War. No way! A Spartan? For real? You better not be! Oh man, he's here! Even within Oni, the very branch that helped develop the program and funded it in its entirety, the Spartans became more than just soldiers. Colonel James Ackerson, a strong opponent of the Spartans, eventually came to see their benefit and began his own program known as Spartan III. After the end of the Human Covenant War, the Spartan program came full circle with a new program, the Fours, that followed the tenets of the original Orion program, using adult volunteers instead of children. The Spartan program was the culmination of more than 50 years of research and development, creating the best soldiers without morally questionable means. The name Spartan also became infamous among the Covenant, with the green-clad super-soldiers being referred to as demons. The name came from a myth that was shared between humans and Covenant, that Spartans never die. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.